Good afternoon. Today I am going to let you in on a secret that I found the other day. I have been creating some computer tutorials that I needed to have a program that would record screen video as well as audio. Initially I was using the VLC media player to capture the screen and, and, and at the same time I would open up Audacity and record the audio. Then I would import both of those files into my Adobe Premiere Elements and I would manually sync the audio to the video and for what I was doing if I could get it within a half a second to a, or so of being in sync that was good enough for my computer tutorials but it was still a lot of extra effort <clears throat> so I went ahead and downloaded the trial of Snagit 2018 and after a quick test discovered it would work perfectly for what I was trying to do and to me the fifty dollars plus tax it was a little over fifty seemed like a bargain price so I went ahead and purchased it although I'm not opposed to using open source or free software when when you can find some that works and does what you want it to do <coughs> which is why I use a, also a program called portable apps a lot of you probably already have heard of portable apps but if not it is an application that you can install to a flash drive and then once it's installed you can look for applications and install them to that flash drive and then you can move that flash drive from computer to computer and use those applications um, the advantage would be number one you would already have them installed and working the way you like you would have your settings saved in the past I even put a uh, Mozilla Firefox on there so it would have all of my bookmarks but nowadays with Firefox syncing bookmarks no matter what PC I log into all I have to do is load Firefox sign into it and my bookmarks will sync so I don't really use Firefox anymore there's also LibreOffice you know an office package um, but it takes up quite a bit of space and I really never used it so I ended up deleting it but anyway I forget what I was looking for yesterday but I happened to cross a program called cam studio <clears throat> it records video from your screen it can include the cursor and you can also set it up to record audio from the microphone um, so I went to the internet and I did a search for cam studio I do not know <laughs> if there's a limitation of how many minutes it'll record I'm sure it probably won't record over four gigabytes since that's a uh, limitation uh, for Windows I think or maybe it's just the uh, NTFS I don't know but anyway there, there's a four gig limit on videos I know so the first place I looked was cam studio because there were reports that this program distributed malware and harmful viruses via the installer so I went down to the bottom and I read and what it turns out to be um, that starting as far back as 2013 
certain antivirus programs would not allow the installer to install this program because it packaged software that would want to install um, additional third-party software and sometimes that contained malware spyware Trojans uh, one of the things it reported that it did was um, it would change your home page on your browser and, and not allow you to change it back I have seen other programs do that in the past in my experience uh, supporting people and their computers and the issues that they develop <clears throat> so um, after I installed this program the folder that it installed to I ran a McAfee virus scan on that particular folder and it did not find anything <laughs> in that particular folder but of course you know I wanted to make everybody aware that hey, you know you got to be cautious and uh, as always the primary thing you need to do is keep your data backed up and if something goes wrong you may have to wipe your hard drive reload windows reload your applications restore your data back and be back on the road you know a day or two later because by the time you do all the windows updates and all that stuff you know it's going to take a while but anyway so far I have not noticed any of the symptoms that uh, were reported um, so we've done this for a while let's, let's go over to MSN and see if there's anything new in the world uh, <coughs> eggshells yeah it's they're handy things don't throw them in the trash put them in your garden put them in your plants bake them and put them out where you put your bird food it's good for the birds to peck on them um, somewhere in here earlier I saw where they reported that that family from Iowa that died in Mexico that were on vacation it was from the hot water heater which is a shame you know family go down on vacation and never come home alive but anyway uh, cam studio it records to an AVI so AVI's in my experience can tend to be quite large right now I've been recording for eight minutes and four seconds and it's the file is only 103 meg so venturing a guess that you could probably record for a good long time without surpassing any limits on file size or length earlier um, I opened up options I was going to show the options that I set but the program crashed and right now I'm assuming that because I was using the program it would not allow me to look at and or change any of the options while I'm using the program which that kind of makes sense so when I'm through recording this I will then use my Snagit program to go in and show you the options I pretty much am using uh, the default options the only one I changed was to say yes record the microphone uh, the default it was off and it just did a screen capture um, there are options for video Oh yeah, you can capture the cursor. Some of these uh, screen recording problems don't capture the cursor. Um, I looked at the EXIF of the file earlier that I recorded and it records at 20 frames a second. Um, so if you do st stuff real quick, it may not, you know, it, it, you could miss a frame. <coughs> so I've what I've been doing is when I open up a window you know or click on something I wait a, a good half a second to give the the program chance to at least record some of that um, so for now I'm gonna go ahead and close this I think I've discussed everything that I was concerned with 
And to be honest, the couple of little tests I looked at earlier were pretty good, especially for a free program. Okay, I am back and I am now recording my screen and audio with my licensed version of Snagit 2018. <clears throat> I have Cam Studio open, but as you can see, it is not recording. The main reason <coughs> I'm using this is to be able to show you the options. Basically, here's where I put a check to record audio from the microphone. And it looks like you could also Well, I would have to try that, but I, I don't really want, I don't, I guess there might be a, an occasion where I might want to record what's coming to the speakers, but for the most part, I would want to record audio from the microphone. Audio options for microphone is, I just left it at default input device. This is kind of a mediocre re recording format probably good enough. I left everything at default here. And under video options, there are some compressors. I left it at 70% quality, which is, you know, it's going to keep the file size down a little bit from 100% quality. And I will show you, you can look here, here's some different codecs for video compression. I left it on Cinepec codec by radius, just because that was the default and it seems to work. Everything seemed to work. <clears throat> so, um, that's pretty much it for the options, but you know, if you look at your videos and you're not happy about something, then you're going to have to play with it and or communicate with the vendor to see if they got any ideas on how to improve what you're not happy with. And I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to put these two together and probably post this to my face, not Facebook, my YouTube page. Okay. As a side note, I have gone to Google search. And, and searched for Cam Studio. And there is a camstudio.org. And when you go to that site, it tells you and advertises what it is. And it has the latest version. But be aware. This is from October of 2013, which is reported to be the version that virus scanning software detected malware, spyware, trojans, adware, viruses. And I compared the version <coughs> that I downloaded you can run inside of portable apps and it is the same version 2.7.2 .2, release 326 however when you click here and when you say yes I want to save this file when you do that McAfee Web Advisor comes up and gives you a security alert, alert and tells you that they found that there might be viruses, spyware, or other potentially unwanted programs in the file you're trying to download. So I'm going to block that download. <coughs> now up here at the top, there's another download link. We'll see what happens when you try to download that one as well.
yeah it tells you pretty much the same thing so I'm gonna block that download as well now be aware that I got no such warning when I installed the portable app version so I got a little bit worried well did I download um, a portable app that potentially could have malware of some sort in it so I went ahead and ran a complete virus scan and McAfee did not find any issues on my computer so I feel relatively safe that the portable apps cam studio version will work just fine for you without any malware now <coughs> the warning that McAfee web advisor was given us sometimes they come up with false positives so the file may be perfectly safe but I would not trust it especially knowing that I can run portable apps and I can run the portable app version of that program without any such warning I wonder where else might you be able to get cam studio source forge they're usually pretty good <coughs> let's see what version they have well this is from 2016 So let's see. Come on. All right. Now I'm going to see if I can save that file. So it looks like the camstudio.org file may have the uh, problem in it of malware, but the version that's at SourceForge looks like it might be clean. So that's just a, a word to the wise as always the thing to do is to make sure you have all important documents and data backed up and in case you ever have a hard drive crash or get any sort of virus <coughs> or any sort of issue that uh, you can't resolve you know at least you have your data backed up and the hard drive can be wiped windows can be reloaded updates can be applied and applications can be reloaded and data can be restored and after a exhaustive procedure <laughs> which can take a day or two you'll get your machine back to the way it was for now I'm gonna close this video and that's my last note